the health as well. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so maybe in terms of the stress, that is something that is very, um, that's hard to really get a handle on or to know how much that's affecting a person, but maybe the loss of productivity and other things. Um, where, where do you start if you're living paycheck to paycheck, which that is the case for so many Americans? Actually, you start by first having a mindset change because people may need help, but if they don't want help, then people like me can't help them. So I think it starts in the mind first, having the mentality that I need to change my life. Start there. And then start with these four things. First, they need to eat food. Some people may have a credit card statement, for example. Pay that bill, but not eat food. Priorities are all out of whack. So first, eat food, because mm -hmm. you need to eat to live. Secondly, you need to pay your bills for your mortgage or your rent and utilities. Got to have lights on so you mm -hmm. can see, read, mm -hmm. and to live. Third, you need to have your car, pay your car payment if you have one, because you need to get back and forth to work. And lastly, have basic clothing. So you won't go to jail for indecent exposure or streaking people too, because we all need to be clothed. So mm -hmm. I tell people that you need to have clothes on so you won't go to jail for indecent exposure. I don't you're, know. You're talking about basics here. <laughs> We're getting back to really ground zero with basics. Correct. It's hard to believe that 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 people would live that way, but but when they're that under that much pressure financially, you've seen that. People need to have the basics. Instead mm -hmm. of having things that they want, they need to have things they need first. Let's talk about tips to deal with financial stress around the holidays, mm. since we're right in, in that time period. Yes. In other words, um, I, I saw one of the tips was don't buy things last minute. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else do you tell your clients? Well, I first think people need to get in a budget. Have a budget for what you're going to spend for Christmas. It's in December, right? So mm -hmm. plan ahead, maybe in January, save up money every month until December comes. Then you can spend the money like you want to. So have a budget first and foremost. Second, the other one is to use cash. You mentioned using cash. Yes. That way you won't overspend your budget. And also, I think having, having boundaries as well, because I have a large family. I'm not gonna buy for everyone. But maybe if you, you can do a Secret Santa, buy for two people, that way you can stay within your means. Mm -hmm. And also, I, I was reading too, uh, you know, avoid the last minute shopping and pay with cash and creative gift giving. Mm. You know, I think for a lot of people, especially older people in your family, they really appreciate something that maybe someone made for them. If it's food, if it's cookies, if, if it's something to, to, that you could frame, anything like that, a, a family picture and you buy an inexpensive frame, that means so much more. It does, and I have a two-year-old daughter, so I'm sure my parents would love a gift for my granddaughter, maybe a drawing. It may not be in the colors or in the lines, but I agree that doing things that are simple, money doesn't have always have to be spent in order to have a nice gift. Absolutely. How can you get out of debt? And that is a really big question. That's the million dollar question here, right? How do you get out of debt? What do you counsel the people you see? With? So I tell people they need to crush their debt because debt is a thief. It steals, destroys, and people's dreams are getting crushed. So you fight back by crushing your debt. First, you list your debts from the tiniest one to the largest debt, regardless of the interest rate. And you pay as much as you can on the first one and pay the minimum on everything else. So say for instance, if you had three debts, first one you put as much money on it as possible while applying the minimum debts payment to the second two debts. Mm -hmm. Once you do that, the, it basically accumulates over time and you'll be able to come debt free. All right, what, what, give us a success story. Maybe tell us about somebody without naming names, protect their privacy, but can you tell us about a story where you saw someone really in the depths of, of despair because of their finances and that they were able to finally get out of debt? I'll tell you my story. Okay. My wife and I, we were in debt and had a lot of student loan debt, a car payment, actually a big car debt. And over time we were able to do this process I just mentioned earlier to pay off debt. And it's freeing to not live with debt. 